I'm so excited. I'm in too deep. Oh, crazy. But it feels so right. Baby, thinking of you keeps me up all night. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Hey, what's up, friends? It's Kelsey Ballerini, and I'm here today to play a game of song association with Elle. I have to just be upfront. I've played this before. I got nine out of 15. I'm not happy with that score. I want to do better, so this is my chance at redemption. The stakes are higher, because of course, there's 20 words this time, and I still have the same 10 seconds to put that word in a song. So here we go. Wish me luck. But before we get started, an album full of words that I wrote um, <laughs> that I don't have to associate with anything, which is exciting. Um, <laughs> it's coming out next month, March 20th. It's called Kelsey, and go check it out. But before that, I'm gonna try to, just try to think of some songs. Here we go. <laughs> Mommy made me mash my m and All right, let's do this thing. Cheap. Cheap, get drunk and get cheap. So what's wrong with me? Cause I don't wanna go to that club. It's my own song, I hate myself, I did it anyway, sorry about it, what? <laughs> baby. And I was like, baby, 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 oh, like, baby, 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 oh. I'm a believer for life, guys. <laughs> heart, 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 heart. <laughs> Every song has the word hard in it. Uh. Heart, what? Every song has the word heart in it. I, okay, okay. I missed heart, and I know heart's in like every song, but it reminds me of this thing that my mom and I do to this day for birthdays and Christmases and holidays, which is called a gift of the heart, which has resulted in a lot of songs, even my first songs, so. Heart is actually very prominent in, in my songwriting world. I remember the first song I wrote. <laughs> it's called Oh Mama, and I basically forgot it was Mother's Day. I was 12, and I loved music, but I didn't know that like you could really write songs. But me and my mom always do this thing called Gift of the Heart, where instead of buying something, we paint something or write something or whatever. And so I was like, I'll just write her a song called Oh Mama. And that was the first song I ever wrote. It's embarrassing. It goes, Oh mama, you raised me well from the day I was born to right here and now, oh mama. And it just keeps going. There's no form to it. I like I didn't understand like there was there's supposed to be a verse and then a chorus and then a verse and then a, so I just it was just like a a song. Because <laughs> when you're twelve, you're like, it's all together. Sorry, mom. <laughs> Never. I'm gonna go back to a beaver song. I don't know why I'm on a beaver kick, but I'm never sing never, not never say never. And then, um, what if I never get over you? Close. Uh, want you close? Mm-mm. Close. Ooh, ooh, Tovo, Nick Jonas. Name of the song, so that's helpful when it's the word. <laughs> Games. Oh. Cause you, you know I love the players And you love the game So you know you're reckless We'll take it way too far I believe you're breathless It was, that was not plural in the song But it's still the same word, so Does that count? Yes Skin Well, I'm gonna keep picking my own songs But I know them cause I wrote them Uh, what if I uh, told you the world wouldn't end If you started showing what's under your skin so the album is called Kelsey, which is obviously my name. And I, I've never done a self-titled album before. And I think Kelsey feels personal when you don't add in the last name. So the album is that. It's like been a really self-discovery kind of few years uh, while I've been writing the album. And um, all the songs are just different, different things that I've learned over the last few years, whether it's different kind of perspectives of love as I've been settling into marriage or really introspective stuff like Homecoming Queen, my single, which I think is probably the most vulnerable song on the album. It talks about touring a lot and the dark and the lights of that, like my song LA and Missing My Hometown, like half my hometown. There's just a lot of different shades of who I've grown up to be right now on it. So it's called Kelsey because it's me. 
a lot of artists really make their like defining project their self-titled project. And one that we can all talk about is Beyonce. And on her self-titled project called Beyonce. Um, I mean, it's iconic, the whole thing, but Pretty Hurts, I remember hearing that. And with the background pageantry in it, I was just like, I'm <laughs> so good. Pretty Hurts, so good. Night. Baby, let's just stay here tonight. Fever night, fever night, fever. Crazy. You drive me crazy. I just can't sleep. I'm so excited. I'm in too deep. Oh, crazy. But it feels so right. Baby, thinking of you keeps me up all night. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Hi. Oh, oh. She's so high, high, high above me. She's so lovely. That's an old one. I don't know why that's what I picked, but can't explain how the brain works sometimes, can we? <laughs> Myself. Myself. Gonna love myself, no, I don't need anybody else. Hey, no, I love myself, no, I don't need anybody else. Whoo, that was close. I almost didn't make it. Haley Seinfeld. Whoo. The recording process of making the album, Kelsey, it's really been as long as I've been writing it, which has been about two years. But I think the first song that we picked and knew that it was going to be on the album is a song called Love and Hate. And it's a song that I actually, I was, I was doing stuff with the voice in... Los Angeles and got a call that Ed Sheeran was writing in Nashville with my really good friend who helped me produce a lot of the record, Ross Copperman, and asked me if I wanted to take a red eye and write the next day. And so I hopped on a red eye and I wrote all night on the plane to prep for the, for the writing session. And we went in, we wrote four songs and this particular song just warmed my soul and is heartbreaking in the most beautiful, simple way. And I think that was the beginning of of the album, which I had written like a hundred songs before that, but that was when I was like, this is the start of a sound that I think I can really dig into. Uh, the day that you lied, I felt it all change. I crossed that thin, thin line between love and hate. Believe. Do you believe in life after love, after love, after love, after love? I can feel something and some are saying. I really don't think it's strong. Lips. I know you lie, cause your lips are moving. Baby, do you think I'm dumb? Friend. Well, I got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns and the beer. Everyone chases my blues away. Not everyone. Mm. And I'll be okay. That was supposed to be a sing-along and no one had my back. <laughs> Middle. Baby, why don't you just meet me in the middle? Oh, I feel like I'm redeeming myself. There's a lot of songs that I wish I would have written. I study songs as a songwriter and there's there's one like country song. Well, there's a lot of country songs, but one in particular called The House That Built Me that Miranda Lambert recorded that it came out right when I moved to Nashville when I was 15 and it just stopped me in my tracks. It's so beautiful. But classic song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I wish I would have written that song. It's nostalgic and it's magical and whimsical and really, really poetic and gorgeous. And I, I wish I would have... Uh, lived a while ago and written that. <laughs> Birds fly over the rainbow, why, oh, why can I? Lose. Oh, uh, I needed to lose you to love me, to love, love, to love, love, love me. I love that Selena song. She's killing it. <laughs> Home. See, normally I would do Homecoming Queen, but I'm not going to be that person. Even a Homecoming Queen cries. Man, yeah, I'm that person. <laughs> Between.
between. This is not hard. Wow. Between you and me, I don't know this one. Dance. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna be the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. <laughs> Classic. Don't. Last word is don't. There's a few. Don't go breaking my heart. Don't mm with my love. The heart is so cool. Um, I'm sure there's more, but those are two. <laughs> I'm redeemed! I'm allowed to be a musician again. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this. I had so much fun doing it. I feel like I got to redeem myself. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Elle, for letting me. And make sure to check out my new album called Kelsey out next month. I'm so excited about this album and I hope you love it as much as I love making it for you.